Welcome back to the Student of the Game podcast. Once again, thank you all for tuning in. All right, so Deshaun Watson, this past week, we found out that he's not going to be facing any criminal charges, okay? Um, so as far as him being able to move forward to either stay with the Texans or proceed to go through a trade, okay, seems like seems like they can we can head in that in that in that direction people i'm getting my words twisted up all right excuse me but you know people are wondering okay where's where's Deshaun Watson is going to play at i'm going to tell you something do not believe the reports when they say all right um he's probably going to land with the carolina panthers or the new orleans saints or even hell i'm a seahawks fan too or the seattle seahawks okay you know I think he's going to land with the team that you least expected. Like the team that he ends up playing for is going to just come out of left field for real. It's going to hit you by surprise. You will never see it coming. I'm going to tell you why, because the Houston Texans, that's how they make their moves. They make their moves by doing moves that you, you have. You don't see them coming. You don't believe me. Okay. Who saw DeAndre Hopkins being traded? Nobody saw that. We still do not know the reason why he was being traded outside of reports saying that Jack used to be didn't like him. Don't know how true that is because it's reports. But we still do not have a concrete reason why in the hell this, um, DeAndre Hopkins was traded. OK, then you find out he's traded. He's traded for a second round pick in David Johnson. OK, you would think if you were going to trade a top three receiver in the league at what, 27 years old, you would get something bigger than that. Because the Buffalo Bills got a first round pick for Stefan Diggs, who's not better than DeAndre Hopkins. He's not. He's good, but he's not better than D Hop. Okay. Then you go to the coaching search when they hired David Covey. Nobody saw that coming. Nobody. You had people talking about Eric B. Enemy, other coaches, and all that. David Cully? Nobody saw that coming. David Cully gets fired. You kept hearing about. Brian Flores, um, Josh McCown, um, the, the offensive coordinator for the Rams. I forgot his name and stuff. You know, other he heard Eric B and me float around a little bit, but they hired Lovey Smith. I don't require I don't recall any single reporter before the Houston Texans hired Lovey Smith saying, I think the Texans are gonna go with Lovey Smith. And he's in-house. You understand what I'm saying? So the fact that a lot of reports are saying the Saints, Seahawks, Panthers, okay, like he's going to go to a team where you don't even see coming, that you don't even see coming. So that means it's probably going to be like a, well, San Francisco 49ers. I saw that one coming if that happens because I did do a video. Go check my video out where I said Deshaun Watson is going to end up going to the Niners and the Niners are going to send Jimmy Garoppolo. And people are like, what about, what about Trey Lance? They're going to trade. They'll trade Trey Lance. OK, and get something for him. All right. But anyways, um, or it could be the New England Patriots. That's something that's a move that a lot of people are not going to see coming, even though you should see it coming because they have Casario and used to be they have ties to New England. I wouldn't want them to go to New England, but, you know, they feel like they're going to get their draft haul from the Patriots. I don't think Bill Belichick care about pay, uh, picks like that when, you know, he, he believes he can get a potentially top five quarterback. And, you know, if you're Bill Belichick, you're trying to win a Super Bowl before you retire. So people won't look at you and be like, see what Tom Brady did without you? You couldn't do it without him, you know? Or, you know what? He might stay with the Houston Texans. It's quite possible. And I'm going to tell you why it's possible. I'm going to tell you why it's possible. Because when he at, when he, when, when he report or, or allegedly had requested a trade from the Texans, the Texans look different than what they do now. You know what I'm saying? They look different. You got Lovey Smith. Lovey Smith is a legit head coach. He's top notch. OK, defense is going to be on point. I'm going to tell you that run game is going to be on point. So if you Deshaun, you just got to take care of your business on the quarterback end. And I believe he could do that. You know, people are like, you know, he had th think he had a lot of padded stats or whatever and stuff when they went four and twelve. No, his QB rating was one hundred and twelve. That is awesome when you have a losing record. Most a lot of quarterbacks, when they have a losing record like that, four and twelve, they have a lot of yardage, a lot of empty stats, cap calorie yardage and stuff. And the ratings are not going to be 112. You understand what I'm saying? So, and they did lose a few close games too. So, but 
They're going to have a good run game. Pep Hamilton is, is, is the truth, people. Pep Hamilton knows his stuff, all right? He knows his stuff. I believe, I think he he did work with Justin Herbert too, you know, and he, he has a long history. He was a, was a coach at Howard, you know, he has a, was coach in the Chargers. Um, he's with the Texans and he has a long resume. He has a long resume. I'm, I'm sorry for not having it in front of me, but his, believe me, his resume is, is very respected. Go check it out. You know what I'm saying? I hold his resume against any other person who has not been a head coach. Hell, half of the people who are head coaches, I believe his resume is greater than theirs, or at least on this equivalent, okay? But um, I wouldn't be surprised if he stayed in Houston. Check this out, because here's the thing. David Cully wasn't allowed to pick his own staff. Lovey Smith was allowed to pick his own staff, okay? So that's a good thing. That goes to show that, hey, um, they're letting allowing the coaches to make the decisions, OK, and also Lovey Smith said it himself. He's not going to be having um, Nick Casario calling plays in the ear set for him. OK, that that's not going to happen. I believe Lovey Smith was straight up chunk deuces to that head coaching job before he allows that. So I don't think that's going to happen. But who knows? Maybe Casario, I'll, you know, I'll give him, a, you know, I'll give him some benefit of the doubt on this situation. Maybe he felt like he needed to do that for David Cully, who was, you know, he. First head coaching job, and it's a reason why being in the game, as long as he has been, he hasn't been interviewed for any other head coaching jobs. You know what I'm saying? But I'm glad he got his opportunity, and hey, he's getting paid. So, But um, the Texans, they look, they look a lot different than they did when Deshaun Watson, you know, mentioned that he wanted to be traded, okay? But um, we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. Um, who knows what's going to happen, but we'll see. We shall see what gonna, what's going to happen with that. But anyway, share your thoughts in the comment section below and hit that like and subscribe button and let me know whether or not what team do you think Deshaun Watson is going to end up playing for? Do you think he's going to be a Patriot? Do you think it's going to be a Niner, Saint, Seahawk, um, Panther? Um, or do you think he's going to remain with the Texans? Okay, hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you all for tuning in. Student of the Game podcast. Peace out.